Welcome back adventurers. I'm still out of action with myocarditis, but I desperately need a dose of vitamin countryside. And so I'm heading off down towards Stone in Staffordshire today to Downs Banks. It's one of the places I've been meaning to come and film for a while. So let's just have a recce and then we'll have a chat. Afternoon folks, welcome back. I'm reduced to doing what old people do, going for a drive and parking up somewhere pretty because uh, right now I just can't walk any distance at all. This looks like a good spot beside the river for a chat. And today I thought we'd talk about my demon. The demon drink. This one's a good one. Mm -hmm. From, I, from uh, Lidl, their Islay single malt scotch whiskey. It's only about 17, 18 pounds a bottle. It tastes like a 40, 50 pound bottle of whiskey to me. Deep, rich, Eaty, smoky, and I'm not going to drink it because I've given up. So today I thought we'd talk about my personal relationship with alcohol and uh, why I've given up and some of my coping mechanisms. <laughs> right, so um, my history with alcohol. I've been abusing alcohol forever. I'm a very introvert sort of person. I find social gatherings very difficult, small talk, oh, uh, very difficult. Crowds, cities, uh, I find it all that very difficult. Sensory overload, I guess. And early on I discovered that alcohol allowed me to um, relax, it allowed me to socialize um, and so yeah <laughs> and so I started drinking um, but it becomes a physical dependency if you're not careful decompression at the end of the day stressful day you end up so that you are as soon as you finish work you're reaching for a bottle and you end up having to drink every day it's not wanting to drink you need to drink it's a chemical dependency so um not good there's also the health concerns damage to your liver and as you get older you start to think pushing my luck perhaps i ought to change yeah, so that's my relationship with alcohol. I love alcohol. I love beer. I love beer so much I used to make my own. Uh, at university, <laughs> career guidance, their advice was to become a brewer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I used to make my own from scratch, make my own mash tun, and um, then, uh, you know, brew from grain and uh, fresh hops, mm. my Caledonian Porter and my Guinness. People would travel miles to, for them and it made it affordable for me. And that's always one of the problems with alcohol is, <laughs> like most addicts, you can't really afford it, can you? So yeah, making your own beer means I could make good quality, really nice beer for 20p a pint. That was 10 years ago now, so perhaps it's a little bit more now, but still a lot cheaper than it would be to buy it. 
So, um, yeah, beer gave that up. I was horrendously fat and had to, and that's when I went on the low carb diet originally. I gave up then and um, yeah, beer's full of sugar. Lots and lots of empty calories, pushes your blood sugar up. You, very easy to get fat if you're uh, that way inclined. So what then? Well, on a low carb diet, your options then become wine or spirits, really. Now, if you are able to drink in moderation, perhaps you can drink wine. A bottle of dry wine is perhaps 17, 20 grams of carbohydrate. The problem is, is that I would drink a whole bottle of wine. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to drink just one glass. And I'm aiming for 20 grams of carbohydrate in a day. So that would be my entire allowance on booze. So wine is just for special occasions, or was. Then um, spirits, of course, there's no carbs in spirits. So I felt free to drink that. My favourite spirits, uh, well, I like whiskey, malt whiskey, but my favourite favourite is um, dark rum. Captain Morgan's, Woods 100, Havana Club, you get the picture, rum and coke, in a big glass with ice. <laughs> and while there's no sugar in it, there's still... Uh, it's still empty calories and it's the concern is damage to your liver so uh, let's talk about um, giving up okay so I actually gave up for six months last year I, I got some stomach pain that was enough to frighten me into doing it and the reality of giving up is it's a chemical dependency uh, but if you can go 14 days without a drink you break that chemical dependency. Uh, so I gave up and I went six months without touching a drop. But then I thought to myself, I'm okay, I wasn't bothered, you see, I wasn't bothered by alcohol. And so I thought, could I just drink at parties? Birthday parties, Christmas, that sort of thing. So I tried it. So we have parties in October, November, and then, of course, Christmas. And then it's my birthday in January. And I can tell you, within no time at all, I was back to daily drinking huge glasses of spirits. So the answer is no, I can't. Uh, and then I've been trying to stop again. And it is difficult. You need some sort of motivate, some sort of push. For me, this time round, it was the, you know, thinking I'd had a heart attack and... And, you know, thinking, well, is it angina? Yeah. So empty calories, booze in general is just not good for you. It's, <laughs> so, so not if you're drinking it the way I drink it. So I stopped. And so I haven't had a drink now for three weeks. So I've broken the chemical de dependency again. And I'm not bothered. That bottle there looks lovely. Yes, I would like to drink it. But I'm not, I can, I'm not driven to drink it the way I was before. So that moves us on to coping mechanisms, I guess. So there are a number of coping mechanisms. So first is getting through that first fortnight. You've got to have a resolve and then just stay away from people who are drinking. <laughs> Wasn't too bad this time around because I was ill, 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 in bed with chest pain. So yeah, wasn't a problem. Um, Beyond that, what to do? Well, one of the things I do is I've created a little, what would you call it, an app, I suppose. On, uh, sorry, this is just for the, uh, the iPhone users now, because I use an iPhone. Uh, the same, similar thing might be available for Android, I don't know. Apple, Apple themselves make a, an app called the Shortcuts app. And it allows you to create little chunks of code, little scripts, to fire apps and do calculations and things like that. And so I use that to create a little app that when I click a button, 
it says you've been sober for X number of days. So you might want to make one of those. I'll show you now how to make it. OK, start by opening the Shortcuts app. Press the plus. Click on the name and rename it. I'm going to call it Sober. Next, you want to add an action. So just search for date. Click on date. Next, click on format date. And then finally, type variable, var, set variable. So we're going to call this one today. So we're setting the current date to today. Then we repeat the operation, click date. But this time, click on where it says current date and change it to specified date and click the last time you had a drink. So I'm setting it to the 1st of July this year for illustration purposes. And again, set a variable, so type VAR, set variable, and we're going to call that one last drink. OK, so now we've got both our dates. Next, we want to find the difference between those two dates. So search time, You'll, we want get time between, and it's put the wrong variables in, so we're just going to delete the ones it's stuck in <laughs> and put our own in. So we want to start with the last drink, so click select variable and then click on last drink. And now go to the other box, the second date, select variable and click on the today variable and then change it from minutes to days. Finally, we want to display this information. So click note for notification, show notification, and then type in your message. So I'm going to make it say, you've been sober for, then I'm clicking on select variable, and I'm clicking time between dates, and then I'm going to type days after it. Click on the play button to check it works. You've been sober for 19 days. Ah, oh, I need a space. Sorry, got to do this thing properly. So go back to the da da da. Scroll to the beginning of where it says days. Put a space in. Click done. Click play. Bob on. Exactly what I wanted. So the next thing to do is tidy up, so click on select icon. Let's have a glass, eh? And select colour, danger. Done. And then finally, click on the app and then click add to home screen. So let's have a look on the home screen. There it is. Click sober. Bum, 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 bum. You've been sober for 19 days. And that's that. OK, so yeah, I would recommend that if you are going to try and stop drinking. The bigger that number gets when you click that button, the longer that streak gets. You, you don't want to break it. Make it a competition. <laughs> Whatever works. Um, so, yeah, that's one coping mechanism. Uh, another is a replacement mechanism. I can't exercise right now because of my heart. Uh, but that's something I would do is if you feel tempted, go for a run, repeat, replace the alcohol with some natural, you know, some endorphins and endocrines. Mm, lovely. Replace one re addiction with another, but a healthy one. Um, the other thing is do is take yourself away somewhere. So one of the things I do is go to the cinema. So, you know, you get to that Friday afternoon and they're all up unscrewing the bottle tops and getting ready for a sesh. I go to the cinema um, and then I'm away from it. Yeah, so that's how I'm coping. Um, another, the big test, I guess, will be social gatherings. That's when everybody else is having a drink. That's hard. What I'm going to try is um, alcohol-free liquor, or very low alcohol liquor. So I found two brands uh, that I'll try. I don't know if 
Would people be interested in me doing taste testing and finding out which tastes best? Let me know in the comments. Uh, Lyres, L-Y-R-E-S, they make a range of different spirits, whiskey and rum and all your favourites. Um, just have a little bit of sugar in. It had like um, five grams per hundred mil. But in a way that's good because it stops me drinking, getting too thirsty with it, <laughs> I suppose. And I'm dirty keto before the keto police kick off. I'm dirty keto, so a little, I don't mind a little bit of sugar. Uh, as long as you never, you never have naked carbs, you always have it in small quantities and alongside fat and fibre to slow, slow the, the peak down. So um, that's one brand. The other brand was the Clean Liquor Co. Um, they didn't put sugar in theirs. Instead, they used vegetable glycerin. And honestly, I don't know which is worse. I think I'll do a taste test, but vegetable glycerin, although it, and it was about, I can't remember what it was now, two or three grams per hundred mil of vegetable glycerin, which, which makes it, which is a sweet now. However, that's made from the worst type of fats going. I mean, I try to eat clean fats, you know, olive oil i avoid vegetable oils because they're they are inflammatory from what i'm led to understand what do i know not not an expert on anything but uh i avoid them because i'm led to understand they're not good for you and so yeah vegetable glycerin that's going to be made from palm oil i'm guessing <laughs> can't think that's good for you but then again in small quantities just for a special occasion for parties maybe perhaps we'll have to give it a go so that's what i will do for parties am i going to be able to keep it going i don't know i'll keep checking that streak meter i don't mind now i i feel okay so we'll see i think the big test is going to be in the pub christmas things like that Perhaps I'll fall off, I don't know, but I'm trying. Now, I say, I don't want to bang the, bang the drum and shake the tambourine. Temperance! Temperance! This isn't a Salvation Army job. Most of you probably have a healthy relationship with alcohol. I just ask you, say, ask this, all these videos, as I can't run, I can only give you my opinions and food for thought. So the thought for the day is, how much are you drinking? I was getting through at, at least a bottle of spirits a week. It's too much. Um, can you just have have one drink and stop? Or do you have one and that means you're going to have six more? Mm, that's what I do. Can you, you, do you have to drink every day or four or five times a week or do you binge? Just stop and think about it. Because the concern is your health uh, is damaged to your liver, fatty liver. And uh, yeah, I just figure I'd probably push my luck far enough. So uh, that's it. <laughs> Next time I thought we'd have a chat about keto and uh, talk about breaking a stall on keto. Anyway, take care folks. See you next time.